It's the number one show in the streets. Streets. Hood Rich Radio. Radio with DJ Scream. Green. 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 It's Sir Rich Radio. It's a new 92, 396, 7 to beat DJ screen right here. Shout out to that boy Moran. It's also Real Atlanta Wednesdays. And who better to have in the building for Real Atlanta Wednesdays than the one and only Rich Homie Quan? Everybody give it up yeah, for my brother. Show me, baby. Rich Homie Quan in the yeah, building. What's up, saying. man? Where you been? Talk to me. Where you uh, been, man? Man, you know, man, for, well, for one, I couldn't drop no music. I was going through a litigation with my former label. Okay. You me? So when you were hearing music, that's what I was going through. But other than that, man, I'm back. Okay. Like I never left. You right. Feel me? A whole new spirit. Album dropping on the sixteenth. Yeah. You feel me? I feel good. Yeah. I look good. You feel me? But what's I feel it, better than I look. What's right, right. You feel me? What's the difference between Rich Homie right now, March this year, and a year ago? Cause a year ago it seems like you might have been going through yeah. some things or whatever. Uh, I would just say be. I got my confidence back. Okay. You feel me? I don't find I got that mojo back. You feel okay. me? Like awesome power found this mojo. Gotcha. Uh, like awesome power never stopped being awesome power. It's right. Like without right. the mojo. You found the mojo. It, oh man, I definitely found it the was mojo. On. You feel me? So that's all it was. And I think like a lot of artists go through that. You got feel me? Like I came from nothing. Yeah. And to make so much money as fast as I made it, I lost my. I got lost in the sauce. And okay. I can admit that. That is cool you that you admit me? that. Yeah, I got lost in the sauce, but how'd you lose it? Like, what were you going through? It personally? ain't even that. Just like. I ran out, started to buy. Mm. So then, I ran out, started to buy. Yeah, every day you ever wanted real <laughs> exactly. fast. Exactly. So that's what it yeah. was. Like just running out, started to buy. And now we gotta revise. Just had to revise myself. Look at that man in the mm. mirror and just go back to what got me started. Yeah. And that's just music people can relate to. So what motivates you now? Since it's not the riches and the diamonds and the cars and the houses and everything, because you man. got that. Now yeah. you see that that doesn't necessarily make you all the way happy. Yeah. What's your motivation now? I would say my kids, like, empowering my team. Mm. And just taking advantage of the, of the spot, like, this time. Mm. You feel me? Like, mm. for the most part, like, I still just get inspired by hearing new artists on the radio, like, mm. new type of music, because like, it inspired me just to want to kill them even more. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, you did have a tweet, Saw Around the World, where you were yeah. talking about the content of music and yeah. saying people don't really put their soul and their yeah. heart into it. Clarify that for us, because you know the internet yeah. just tried to well, make I, their I own. I really feel like it just, like, exactly what I said. Like, the hip-hop now is more EDM opposed to listening to lyrics. Mm -hmm. You know mm -hmm. what I'm just saying? Like, morals of the story, like, what happened to that? Mm -hmm. You feel me? Like, mm -hmm. I don't care, like, I just feel like we getting caught up in too many of the beats or too much of the hype, too much of the swag, mm. and we just going away from lyrics. Mm. That's what hip hop is. Like mm. it's deeper than just clothes and color hell. Mm. That's real. Mm. What made you want to post that though? Because that's like a real bold thing to because say. Because my album finna drop, and I'm talking bold statements. I'm, I'm rapping about morals. Right. Mm. You feel me? Like mm -hmm. you got to stir the pot a little bit. That's right. I haven't been on the ground, so get on that the right way and keep it real though. At mm. the end of the day, I'm keeping it real. That's At the end of the day, my music gonna speak for everything I've said. Mm -hmm. I don't categorize myself with those type of rappers. I dig it. So am I gonna hear? I'm a rich homie fan. I'm gonna be yeah. real with you. You know this because we yeah. know each other, man. But you know, differences yeah. wasn't just a record for me. It was yeah. a record that rolled with Spoke me and helped me us. get through yeah. some things, man. Yeah. We gonna hear some of that on this That's rich as in spirit. Is that where we going with it? I'm definitely going back to that feel. Okay. You feel me? So it's definitely that type of feel of music. But you got to think, I'm smarter now. Mm -hmm. So just like you say. Even from 10 years from now, you still gonna feel like the difference between me and you, mm -hmm. and that's what it is. Like, mm -hmm. they're relatable subjects. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Then I'm like, with a lot of the same old producers, like, it, for all of this stuff, man, we was working in house. Like, mm -hmm. every beat I picked, there was no email. Mm -hmm. I wanted to make sure every every producer pulled up with his laptop. Let me right. pick out, man, a post, mm -hmm. you sending me 100. I might not like number one. Mm -hmm. But me being able to go through something, got number like five, six producers at the most, only out of 19 tracks, because right. we vibed out for all of the songs. Mm. That's dope, man. That's what's up. Would you say this is your best work to date? I would definitely say this is my best work to date. Only okay. because I know, like, people miss me. Mm -hmm. You miss the voice, you miss the stories. Mm -hmm. And, like, that's what I'm back on. That's mm -hmm. true. Because I, I saw a tweet not too long ago. One of your fans was like, Rich Tommy Quan promised us he would never stop going yeah. in. You promised everybody promised and you us, stopped bro. going in for a few it months. It wasn't even that. You got to just think, like, I just fought my. I look at it like I I was evolving, mm -hmm. and people just couldn't see it at you the time. You was growing. You was being yeah. a yeah, like who wants to keep making the same type of music? True. You want to be able to True. elevate and be like, oh, well, ten years ago, or ten years from ago, five years from ago, it go from now. Mm -hmm. I made this type of music, but mm -hmm. it got me here, and this type of music I'm making now. Mm -hmm. Like I said, it's that similar feel, mm -hmm. but I'm wiser. I know more stuff, and I'm definitely talking that ish. Okay, for real, for sure. And I will say, like from the songs that I have heard, nothing mm -hmm. sounds the same. Like nothing feels like type yeah. of way with the other hits, and like, that's like feel different. I, Cause I want people to like this is my debut album. Right. I think everything I ever put out was either a single or mixtapes or mm -hmm. EP. So I'm taking this a little bit more serious. I know the spotlights on me, so I'm watching what I say. Mm -hmm. I'm watching what I do. Mm -hmm. I just get it now. 
Mm-hmm. Good, man. Now, it's Real Atlanta Wednesdays, yeah. and you've had some club bangers, right? Yes. Let's flash back about maybe five, ten years ago. What was your favorite club then to go to? My favorite club then to go to? About five, ten years ago, yeah. Five, Where ten years ago. Where you used to hang ago. out at before I you would, got on? I would definitely say somewhere like a figure eight. Figure eight, okay. Yes, like, Real Atlanta things oh, going man, on in really figure Atlanta, eight. You know, yeah. like figure a lot eight. A lot of hits, a lot of stars made in figure oh, you eight. Definitely can't, can't go, go by yourself. yourself. Uh, yeah, yeah, for club, sure. Club crucial. Right. Been on a Monday, but definitely like the figure eight was more like that team vibe at the time. That was right. my age group. Yeah, you feel me? Like everything ratchet was coming through there. So right. fast forward to 2018 in March, man. Do you feel like we have that club in the city where we can get that vibe, that no. real Atlanta vibe? I wouldn't say. Well, you want that Atlanta vibe? You gotta go. I would definitely go to more of a strip club, maybe. Okay, blue you flame know? for yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. Like you know what I, mean? I prefer Magic. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yep. But, like, that's what that's still that Atlanta vibe. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But we got to get us one of them spots that ain't got to be a strip club that mm-hmm. we could just go to. Mm-hmm. If it, we used to have it, you know what I'm saying? We, you had, know, plenty we, used, we had plenty of shows and figure eights. Yeah, and you know, I'm talking about even go back. Yeah, like you say, the yeah. prime time, the yeah. 20 grand, and you feel me? Like, what we were known for. Yeah. You right. feel me? Absolutely. 34, yeah. man, that's the new record. Yes, Let's talk about that a little bit. Oh, what man. inspired that? What inspired that? In high school, when I was in 10th grade, I had to catch the 34 to uh, school every, every day. The 34 mm-hmm. is the route that Marta ran from Emmon Park train station. Mm-hmm. So I just want to, like, 34, I mm-hmm. want to put it, like, I want to compare 34 with Herschel Walker a little mm-hmm. bit, you feel me? Because mm-hmm. I did, like, Herschel Walker with the Georgia Bulldog. Mm-hmm. I felt as if he was the GOAT. Mm-hmm. And I just wanted to play with words, just get back to paying pictures with stories, you know what I'm saying? Just mm-hmm. play with it, man. Show people I still got it. Mm-hmm. You feel me? You looking forward to getting back like out on the road heavy and touring? I know you still been doing shows. But oh, looking- of course, of course. Like I'm, I'm, all, I'm all in. I'm all in. You know what I mean? All in again. Like I've learned to separate artists from business, man. Mm-hmm. I know when to cut business mode on. I know when to cut artists on. Mm-hmm. I know when to just be corn. Any of the past yeah. people though, y'all in a cool space. It's just business is business. Every, like, oh, y'all, don't, y'all don't got no bad beef for nobody, man. Yeah. Yeah, everything is everything, man. Mm-hmm. And if you got beef for me, keep it to yourself, bro. True <laughs> indeed. True indeed. Words what, from rich homie, right so there. So you feel like this is like a second. Coming? For you, like these I wouldn't even say a second coming. More like pause. We press and play again. Mm. If I'm not a second coming, like you only get one shot, bro. Word. Mm. If I'm, I just re- had to recenter myself, mm-hmm. and that's what it is. What is there one thing you you would have done differently, like giving advice to your younger self or anybody out there that might be about to go through what you about what you went through? I would just be like, I wouldn't do nothing different because everything happened for a reason. But any artist just coming, I would just say, be cautious of what you sign and just make sure somebody overlooks it. Mm-hmm. You feel me? And just get around some people who believe in you more than you believe in yourself. Mm-hmm. Word. Okay, so we heard it like in, in the biographies that this this album is a little more just quan. Like Rich Homie is still yes. there, but yes. it's a little less <clears throat> Rich Homie, a little more quan. Talk to us about that. I, it's just more like just more rapping. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. of course, like you're gonna hear melodies on songs because that's, mm-hmm. that's me, but. It's more like Atlanta field. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, I ain't going left wood. I ain't going Hollywood. I ain't going left field with it. I'm getting mm-hmm. straight to the point. Mm-hmm. It's it's real Atlanta music. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's like, I got Norton B producing, Zay Tobin, Cassie J, mm-hmm. 30. Mm-hmm. Uh, I got B Lean on there. I co produce on some of it. Mm. So, like, I want to. Rich Homie on the boards? Okay. okay. I, I just want to <laughs> get. Give it up for Rich Homie yeah, on the boards. Yeah, man. man. We like that. that. We fine. like that. But no, I just want to get in depth. Like, you know what I mean? Like, get more in tune with what's going on. Mm. You know what I mean? Opposed to just having a two track. Let's get the whole track out and break it down around these songs. Mm. Like, that's what the album is. Mm-hmm. I took my time. Like, I didn't rush nothing. I didn't rush nothing. Now, one of the 19 songs on there. What's one to look out for? Like, one, you know, every time you do an album, yeah. it's that one you just know, like, I would can't say, wait to drop and they hear this. I would say number two. Number two? Like, F with me. Okay. And I like, I think, like, From Me to You. Mm. Tasha Couture produced produce okay, that one. Okay, to Tasha. We yeah, know what she does. Out, exactly. Yeah, but, you, but you can hear, like, yeah, all my producers from Atlanta. Mm-hmm. Like, and these been people who've been producing who I always just want, like, to work with, like, with the Northern Bees. Like, mm-hmm. it's always been the Atlanta sound to me. Mm-hmm. Can't do an Atlanta album without having to say told me so. Shout out to all my producers who are on there, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? Who was right. able to cre- help me create this vibe that I created. Okay, and that's what it is. Rich as in spirit comes yes. out this March 16th. week. Yes, March sixteenth. If you haven't go pre order it now, and I promise you to hold me back. Like, yep. I'm giving yep. games, free game on them. And I'm talk, it to you. Talk to us about change. The record change. Ah, uh, change. Basically, that was like, that was more so like the end of the album. Like, uh, Cassie J came. Like, bro, I got one with your name on it. Mm. Like, he played it for me. I'm like, man, it's hard. So when I go back in the booth. I just catch a vibe. He walk out. So when he walk out of the studio, I was like, I don't know if I wrote it right, but mm-hmm. I just keep riding. Mm-hmm. Make a long story short, finish the song. Monte called, like, man, we got a problem. I'm like, what the problem is? Future got to be, oh, man. <laughs> oh. Ain't that the worst? Ain't that the worst. <laughs> man, we weren't going to let that stop for us. We right. We not let that stop for us. Let's just handle our business then. Right. You know, 
she tried to remake it. That wasn't it. Right. It just, but like the story behind it was just so crazy. Then we ended up shooting the video in Miami. Yeah. And it, just, it was a feel good record. Like we shot the video in December in, in the winter still. But I wanted to have that summer feel and yeah. you feel me. And that's definitely what it was. What he what he gave. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like don't let that money fool you. Ain't nothing changed for real. Just because you don't see me, don't think. Yeah. Something changed. Like man, we still hitting the bank whenever we want to. Right. We still got safe deposits with keys. We don't forget where they hit. Right. You feel me? Like, right. Yeah. You right. feel me? Like so, I just had to pop my ish. Like that's what people want to hear. And mm -hmm. I ain't really into that, but mm -hmm. I'm an artist at the same time, so mm -hmm. I got to get mm -hmm. back into that. Of course. And just you know, just check the temperature a little bit. If there's anybody out there you could do a collab album or mixtape with, who you rocking with? Like, who's on your playlist that you kind of just really connected Rihanna. to right now? Rihanna. I'm going all the way left here. Rihanna. Yeah. Give me a Rihanna and Rich Homie. Yeah, I give me a I collab like that. with that. You feel me? But, like, yeah. even if we were to do, like, hip-hop, I'd probably do one with, like, a 21. Someone who's, okay. like, different. You no, know, like, I want someone who's way different from yeah. me. 21 yeah. to be dope. Yeah. I heard rumors about you potentially working with Ninth Wonder. Is that true? Be honest, bro. I don't even know who that is. Okay. Well, <laughs> you went deep. Is, yeah, you went a, deep, bro. Yeah, he's a producer. He's a producer. Night one is a producer. Yeah. He's a producer oh, for Jay Z yeah. or something. Oh, yeah, yeah, we yeah. working in. Yeah, 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 yeah. My bad. I ain't mean just throw him on the bus, but they yeah. said that we're gonna make it happen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you feel me? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, legend. Yeah, go. yeah, legend like Jay Z. Oh yeah, um, well, yeah. Well, that well, that's drink. honor. They even put me and him in the same sentence together. So yeah, I ain't mean just shoot him down on the bus like that. Big shout out to Knife One. Yeah, big shout out to Knife. Yep. Yeah. Absolutely. Now let me ask you, man. For everybody traveling to Atlanta this spring, yeah. there's a lot of people from be coming in the city. Yeah. Where do they go eat to get that good plate, man? We had that debate a lot All here. Right. On First Radio. and foremost, if you're 21 and older, you got to go to the Cheetah. Okay, go I'm, to the I'm Cheetah. I'm recommending the Cheetah. Get the fish and grits. <laughs> I would yep. definitely say I like the lobster grits and okra. Lobster, as long as the grits is there. Yeah, of course, you know what I'm saying? of course. As long as the grits is they there. They definitely put cream and cheese in there. Yes, in there. yes, yes, for I, sure. A lot okay. of it. Yeah, I would <laughs> definitely say go to the, um, the Cheetah. Yeah. <laughs> If you want a hot dog, go to the varsity. You feel me? Like you got to go to the varsity wow. because that's more like that's and they should a, cut you a check for that. Give it up, rich homie. Yeah, Bring the varsity. But nah, I, I, I ain't, ain't there dogs. since Turner Field. I ain't yeah. gonna lie to you. Oh no, nah, I, and I, I like uh, Tom, Dick, and Hanks too. Okay, that's good. But my favorite spot on the south side, you got to go check out that pizza bar. Okay, on Count Creek. Got you. Oh man. And then after that, if they want to get fresh for the club, where they go? If you want to get fresh for the club. I'm going to say go to Lineage Mall. Lineage Mall. Yeah. Keep it simple. Yeah, keep it simple, man. Yeah. I ain't trying to get nobody no extra shout outs who ain't right, right, me. Right. <laughs> so, you know True what I'm saying? Already, go to Neiman Marcus. You already gave a lot of sauce you Go to Neiman Marcus, go to Gucci, yeah. go to Louis, and you just get swagged right. up. Other than that, you know right. what I mean? Go online. Right, go online. <laughs> right. Let them melt tell me no shit, <laughs> Right, man. let them melt it to you. <laughs> Real story. Real talk. All right, that's what it is. Finally, man, uh, let everybody know where they can check this album out. Oh, yes, man. You can go pre-order on iTunes. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Scream it everywhere Friday, March 16th. It'll be on the iHeartRadio app, yes. too. Other than check that, just out. go search me on your Google list. It's going to pop up. Yep. You feel me? Go look for me. At, uh, stay on. I'm back on my Instagram popping. Uh -huh. You feel me? Um, at Rich Homie Corn, no spaces. All one word. Okay. R-I-C-H-H-O-M-I-E-Q-U-A-N. Same as my Twitter. Mm-hmm. Snapchat ain't really popping like that, so I don't really be on there. Yeah, I don't even and, know my password, bro. Yeah, so bad. that's what I'm saying. So don't nobody really take it serious. <laughs> right. Yeah, so yeah, right. with that being said, man, we reach that in spirit March 16th. Yeah, absolutely. Finally, just give some uh, words of encouragement for the young guys out there that might be rapping and singing. I just want to say, all, any upcoming artists or anybody who just got a talent, stay at it, man. Stay down. I ain't no off days, especially when you broke. Mm. I ain't no off days. Work That's on your cool. talent. Mm. You know I mean, perfect it if you can. I'm still trying to perfect mine. Mm -hmm. And like I say, man, stay around people who believe in you. And it's will we get another installment of the Still Going In mixtape series? Or is that done for? We're going to crank it up? Bro, I'm promise you. Don't promise start with I'm me. I'm just saying it's on the right. We'll do me. one. Because after this album, <laughs> we'll I'll come back today. in June. We'll do it it's today. ready. It's ready. That's my take. It's ready. I got it, it ready. Said it. said it on camera. It's on the right. We do a stream. I I, just, I feel like that anyway. And I'm we haven't done word. a mixtape. Nah. Hey. So I feel as if it's on the right. We do a stream. I promise. Okay. I'll never stop so going just so they'll know that you still going in. I just, oh yeah. Just so they'll know. Like when you hear that hood, you know, when you hear that drop, you don't you know go. what's happening anyway. There you, you feel go. Me? 100, yeah. man. Rich homie, appreciate you, man. Much success to you. You know the album is going to be crazy. Oh, man, I appreciate you. Yep. Sir Rich Radio, 92, 96, 7 The Beat.